What up with me? How you doing? Maybe one day. Oh, how could you not approve that little face? I like that little face. Sup, Joker. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I'm fine, how about you? I'm good, I'm good. I had a weird morning day so far. Got up early to drive Cat to the train station, so that kind of just... Everything. Mostly been doing 3D printing today, to be honest. Streamed one and a half hours earlier, then became tired, now I'm just disappointed. Why are you disappointed? I've been watching streams all day and I'm also disappointed. Ouch. Well, prepare to continue in the same vein. They only worked one and a half hours. Don't beat yourself up about that. It's it's like airy fairy kind of stuff, but one and a half hours is better than one hour twenty minutes, is better than one hour fifteen minutes, is better than blah blah blah. blah. You know? Would you only be happy if you worked for ten hours? Basically I got nothing done, was just rewriting the same thing over and over again. That happens. So I get that you're disappointed, I suppose it's not that crazy. Minimum three hours. It's a good goal to have, but don't beat yourself up for not reaching it. That's my opinion anyway. You can say, you can flush my opinion down the toilet. Twitch looking at Ethmi haha. What the frig is that thing? What should we do with it? Kill it before it lays any eggs. What does that make you? So things with like boobies and stuff is mammals. What are the things that lay eggs? Is it reptiles? Sure no, because birds lay eggs. Although if you look at a dinosaur and a chicken, there's some similarities. I don't lay eggs, I just eat them. Here, here, I eat four eggs a day. programming fuel even though I'm allergic why the F do I eat eggs because they're delicious are you actually allergic to eggs
true I am. Well, that sucks. It's not that bad, my tongue just gets a bit itchy. I see. Yeah, I've got some allergies, they're a bit more serious than that. Not super bad, like I can't smell peanuts, but if I eat any kiwi, I'm, I'm in big trouble. I'm in danger. Other allergy which is fish and if I eat one gram of fish meat I literally choke so no fish slapping if means please well I could slap you just to not force you to eat it right Get an allergic reaction from touch too, also used to start choking from the smell. That's mental, that's a serious allergy. Has eased out a bit. I've heard of that before. I think seafood allergy is more common. Do Are you allergic to seafood as well or is it fish specifically? Like, can you eat prawns, mussels? Do not like oranges, the smell of them even makes me feel ill. Interesting fact, when my mom was pregnant with me, she ate a whole bag of oranges and got sick from them. That's pretty cool. But I always have to eat in closets in school when they're serving fish. Don't know, but I'm too afraid to try any other seafood because there's a high chance I'm allergic to that too. It's crazy. So I wonder what was genetically passed on from my parents. Hey Kev. Well, that wouldn't be genetic, would it? That would be more like, I don't know, epigenetics? I don't know if that counts. Epigenetics. Study of heritable changes in gene function that do not involve changes in the DNA sequence. So that's like having genes switched on and off and stuff. I don't know if it is quite that, but it sounds like your mother just overate oranges and somehow that kind of Travel to the little baby. Little baby joker. How are you today? I'm good today. It's been a weird day, but it's fine. Got up really early, so kind of ruined my routine, I think. <clears throat> Allergies don't pass down in genes, it's just your immune system reacting to certain proteins. I don't think Jokers was saying that they got an allergy necessarily. They, all they said was that um, orange is just, the smell of them just makes them feel ill. I'm sure allergies have a genetic component though. Your immune system reacting to certain proteins surely can be genetic. Like that's the mechanism, but... Depends. I'm sure some allergies can be acquired through behavior, in which case <clears throat> perhaps they wouldn't get passed down, I don't know. I'm no expert, as you can tell.
Allergies develop automatically. You aren't really born with allergies. What about the preconditions to develop allergies? Is that perhaps that has a genetic component? I used to work with a girl who had a huge amount of food allergies, so she had to eat FODMAP foods. However, when she got pregnant, her allergies disappeared and she craved cheeseburgers. After pregnancy, her allergies returned, but only at a small level compared to previously. That's pretty awesome. Good for her. Sure, some people are more likely to develop allergies, although it is mostly an environmental factor. Interesting. So I wonder what you did to get your fish allergy. Maybe you slapped a fish and then you got cursed in return. Um, had to be super careful with food around her, but after baby she was one of us. One of us. One of us. The cheeseburger people. For example, people who live dirtier childhoods are less likely to develop allergies. I've heard that before. I mean that in itself doesn't, you know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not um, necessarily arguing that it is genetic, but I'm sure it's got a component. Even having a pet lessens children's chance to develop allergies. I mean, there has been an explosion in allergies, which would suggest it's environmentally driven, and doesn't it? Just basically your immune system being bored. I like that description. Well, it definitely gets exciting when allergies get kicked into gear. What are your plans for today's stream? Um, first, I'm, I'm actually trying to write a little bit. Uh, if I manage to do that well, then I'll implement the dialogue into the game. After that, I need to tweak some things in the factory, and then once that's done, I'll just place some enemies if we still have time. That's the plan.
to the Theme Hospital soundtrack. It's pretty good. There's one song on it that I've been humming for, I guess, decades. Don't know how old Theme Hospital is. 97, 98. Wait, did I just Google this the other day? I think it did. Another word for this soul. What well, sciencey word for soul? Yeah, I'm thinking surgery at the spiritual level. That sounds kind of cool, cool actually. And yes, genetics play a part in becoming allergic. Some people have higher chances to getting more allergies. But it's not something like being lactose intolerant where your body can't handle lactose, it's just your immune system reacting randomly to random proteins. When you're lactose tolerant, intolerant, your body can't digest lactose which leads to stomach pain, etc. Well yeah, lactose intolerance isn't an allergy. I don't know what the term is, like a sensitivity or something? It's basically just like your body doesn't produce the enzymes. But you can have milk allergy which is totally different. Which is not okay. Well, this is the song that gets stuck in my head. Yes, and that's caused by proteins in the milk. Is it always proteins? F me, do you know this? Or do you have Wikipedia open? Keyboard sounds, hell yeah. Just making a point that allergies aren't passed down genetically. Some people just have higher chances of having more allergies than others. Yes, it is always proteins. Interesting. Also, hello, cooler.
I have Finnish education system as my source. These things are stuck in my head because I find them interesting and because they happen to have allergies. Scientist. <clears throat> I can quickly get some sources and double check the arguments I've made. I mean, don't don't go out of your way. I do find it interesting as well. So, just find it cool. I hadn't. I mean, it makes sense, but I hadn't thought of it that way. That it's always proteins. It is proteins that I am 100% sure. Self-harm is not okay. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, why are you learning Spanish? I mean, it's not it's not bad. I'm just wondering. I have Slogger's Boon here. Scientists can buy from you cheap for a price. Nice. Hello, Crib. Good day to you too. How are you doing today? Guys, give me two secs, I'm just going to check on my 3D print. The Mao you got automated. Go 
that's F, Swedish and German. I feel like I never really bothered to learn those, even though I've spent five years in German <clears throat> and four in Swedish. I just want to prove myself that I can learn language if I just put my mind to it. Also, Spanish is more widely used than either German or Swedish, so I find that it's more worth my while to study compared to them. <laughs> Top I don't know if you, you probably can't see this. See what I do for you, F me? You're welcome. That's the only word I know in Swedish. It's very different from Finnish, so probably not easy to learn. I'm lucky that I finished all my Swedish college courses during the first year. Spanish is good if you ever want to visit the US. Probably is. I mean, I've I guess I've not been in. Where is where are Spanish people concentrated in the US? I've been in New York and Wisconsin. I don't think Wisconsin's particularly high in Spanish speakers. Yeah, not that. Spanish is the US official second. Is it official? I didn't know that. That's cool. The further south you go, by the workforce is everywhere from Mexico slash Cuba, right? Places like Miami, there are stores where they just don't speak English. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I wonder... I just wonder how that works. I get that you... I guess you just have a community. Like, everybody around you speaks Spanish. Maybe some of them speak English, but if you... If you speak Spanish, then it's easier to just do that. But I wonder, isn't there a point where... There's sufficient encounters with English that you would learn it? I guess not. Um, I guess it comes up a lot in American TV. It's like a trope where the, like, the whatever main character someone speaks like terrible Spanish trying to converse with someone. Or people pretend not to speak English? That's quite, quite common as well. 
Small blue pebble, yes please. Places in Toronto, Canada where people don't speak English and only speak Chinese dialects. The bank machines have options for English or Mandarin. Wow. That's cool. Community supports them and they don't need other languages. Yeah, it makes sense. Weird how many global software has Finnish as a language option, even though this, this include, excluding other European languages, like we're a country of 5.5 million people, why even bother? Our language is hard to lo localize? Anyways, um, I, I would guess... What do I guess? Isn't a lot of this stuff kind of crowdsourced? So you need someone that's really keen to do the translation to do it? And I would say that Finnish people, I guess, are slightly more technologically um, interested than average, so... I think this is the Linux guy Finnish? Yeah, he's born in Finland. Linus Torvalds. I don't know. Just a speculation. Guy who I have never heard of. What? You're joking. Remember when they had a guy that was supposed to be Linus in the movie Swordfish? I think I've seen that, but I don't remember. seen to kill a hacker named Linus at the airport and it's implied it's Torvald's kind of that's funny still not I want my F me haha we all want it
this should be... What is that? Vortex or something? What quest is this? Three, I think. Once I initiate the sequence, is it excise the right word? Remove and delete. Yeah.
<laughs> I love it, F me. Let's see if I can... Looks more like... I do like it though. What's that website that clear, clears up your background? I'll put it on Discord, yeah. That's what Top Rush looks like when persuading. <laughs> Does anyone remember what that website is? Came out really well, actually. What are we calling it? Top rough end. Okay. You made it. Top for a kiss. Oh, I can do better than that. Didn't scale very well, I don't think. Oops, didn't want, did not want to shut one. God damn it! At least the auto saves. I guess they all look pretty small, so it's not much you can do. F me, ha ha ha. Nice. Okay.
And the threat creator of Topra, hmm, and Topra Fan. Hell yeah, you are. I'm just kind of hoping that whatever I've got on the clipboard is what I need. Alright, that was actually the dialogue. I'm pretty happy with that. I've achieved so much in life, now I can die in peace. You're not ready yet. Sixty nine percent. Takes three emotes to achieve happiness, huh? At least. All right, guys, I am going to check out the 3D print again, I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. When are we going to have a 3D print stream? If I model some of the emotes, can you print them? So many questions. I probably could. Actually, almost certainly. It's going to be done in conjunction with the Let's Watch Paint Dry stream. I'm sure some people would watch that.
Just had an idea. All right. Hey, art stuff. How you doing? Today I'm also good. I usually go to school by train every single day. What if I just bike to school? Sure, it's 12 kilometers in one direction, but I would save money on train tickets, although only a couple of euros a month. And it wouldn't even take that much longer compared to walking 30 minutes to the train station than waiting and riding the train to school. <clears throat> that sounds like a great idea. It depends on how is your, how's the bike pass to get there. Yeah, 30 minutes. 30 minutes and then a train. Training schools because you don't go that well together, neither, so I would save time waiting. What's using 30 minutes plus train plus waiting? <clears throat> I would, 12 kilometers, I would think you'd be f way faster. Biking. What part of the game are you working on? Right now we're working on the factory with some mad scientists. Thirty-seven minutes, according to Google Maps, by biking. So that's definitely faster. Adding NPCs in, yeah, kind of. They're like they're um, key story people. They are NPCs. I just for some reason I treat them as. I think of NPCs as the generic ones that don't actually advance the story. But yeah. Non generic NPCs, exactly. Exactly. Hey, bite man. How's it going? Pretty good, just eating, the power's gonna go out soon. How do you know that? Are you just getting some repairs done or something? I thought you were like, you're predicting like a thunderstorm and you just knew your power was gonna go out.
I'm a low-key wizard and know this stuff, but really just getting some electric work done, gonna chill till it goes dark. That's cool, like, interesting, could be fun on the days that it's not raining. I was like, you talking about the biking? Um, yeah, it's, it would be interesting to spend the day without electricity. Probably be interesting for two minutes and then you'd be like, uh, okay, I'm done, give it back. Give me my electricity. Printed out a bunch of references, gonna draw while it's off. That's cool. If power here goes out during a storm or similar, I just go to sleep. Nice. Why not? lay down, not, try not to cry, then cry a lot. I know that reference. No power, enter hibernation. First, flatten the battery on the laptop and USB 4G stick though. <laughs> Makes sense. Changing that? Huh. Weird.
Love this music. Nice. What is that from? East. Some pretty good music. Back to the for me. See y'all later. All right, Batman. Bite man. Uh, hope you have a good day. Enjoy. Kind of how I was mis misspeaking it, I guess. Just gonna cheat my way through this.
cheating, hell yeah. It's faster, you see. You're a terrible bit. Thanks. Appreciate the product, it's a great product. That was weird. I think whatever I changed in the XP script didn't really work. Can I request? So you can request, doesn't mean I'm going to play it. Bad guy by Billy Eilish, but it's Batman. No. <laughs> F me haha and then crying in the like it. Batman, wake up, it's time for school. Who's telling him that? His parents are dead. Please, it's not Butler. Love it. What does the XP controller say?
I'm sure you've recommended that before. That's me. Alright, so we want this to be a bit nicer. How did that work? Which game engine are you using for this? I'm using something called Default. <laughs> You're not an idiot. Default the non-origami game engine. <laughs> um. I like it. Keep out of, keep out of. My brain's just full of stuff like this now for some reason. Must be tired. Well, I like it. Keep it coming. Spell keep out of. That was a fame, a pain in the booty. Don't know what fame means, but it was that too. What 
does it just jump there though? I don't understand. I think it's just the exposition missing an animation. Interesting seeing your various easing options on the animations. I saw a great GDC talk on procedural animations with several demos on the importance of the right easing for natural looking movement. For sure, it's a bit of a science. Um, and yeah, it can look really good and it can look really bad if you get it wrong, for sure. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it is necessary, because otherwise it doesn't end up where it needs to go. So, like, if I presume I stand out here, hit it with a mind or something. So lucky to be able to work with Cooler, I can barely draw four pixels of a straight line. Yeah, it's very good to team up sometimes.
play two strings exactly. Nicer things that way, not to mention it's nice to be able to bounce ideas off a partner. Yeah, that's something I really found in this game. I felt a bit isolated at times. Um, I mean, self-imposed for sure, but yeah, it is really important to have someone to act as a sounding board. Thankfully, I've had people on the stream and stuff. Okay, that looks way better. I mean, it doesn't look natural, how could it, but it's as good as it's going to be in getting shifted to where it needs to be. If you weren't sent for some last minute work interfering, I would have entered the most recent Ludum Diary to dip my toes into collaborative game dev. That would have been cool. My first Ludum Diary will likely be a solo effort. I really enjoy doing it solo, because then I get to do stuff that I never do, like art and sound and stuff. Most important two lines in my chat box. If chat message is F me's little helper, then the message is quack. No, or or the message is quack, then send message quack. I see, I see. Nice. It can talk. Okay, so that was a bit of a tangent, but good to fix it. Probably did optimize it slightly as well, so that's good. Well, it depends on what you like. I kind of like working alone. For jams, I mean. For big projects, definitely team. I do know one friend who's way, already way ahead of me has made several prototype games in Unity. Well, there's no sense in comparing to other people. There's tons of people that are ahead of you. Tons of people that, behind, that are behind you as well. So many ideas for my bot, but I don't really work on it because I made a simple chat command to add commands. I don't even need to add the commands manually. That's awesome. But that's like for, just for basic responses, right? Sometimes jam alone, but it's not working with others. Yeah, exactly. Just saying, I do have at least one potential teammate. Fortunately, ah, yes, I see. Yeah, you're right. different types of commands and that can basically be built on top of that 
on top of to add as much command customization as possible. That's cool. My biggest issue is just coming up with a concept that is small enough to be achievable yet still fun. I had a simple idea for a game where you load a cargo ship using gantry cranes. Ship can capsize if you balance containers wrong or crush containers if you stack too high, etc. That does sound relatively simple and fun. If it was too big in scope, then you're not far off anyway. To make sure that when you, if you say no to the scientist at that point, it still takes you back to the pending position. So you've lost your stuff there. It's running. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, Wormius. I'm good, how are you?
Just need to find where the machine is located. Are you able to edit game parameters mid-game? What do you mean by that? Switching from game to code rapidly. Yes, that's just normal building. Do you need to restart the game after? Uh, I tend to, there is hot reloading. I don't use that very often, but I'm just building, I'm just building the game over and over basically. Subscriber, nice. Hell yeah, nice. And the five sub gifter. When will be the game's release? It looks like a lot is done already. We're over 70% done. I think sometime next year is the plan. It's not a story spoiler, are these different parallel dimensions slash time periods the player is teleporting in between? Um, it's, this is technically a spoiler, but I've talked about it all the time. Uh, it is the, the, this particular thing is the soul of one of your companions. So a lot of the stuff is the same, is the same world, uh, but there are a couple of different dimensions. You've got the mind of the, 
companion. You've got an astral dimension created by a wizard. You have the god realm. You have two kind of afterlifes. One is where souls go and one is where skeletons live. I think those are all the kind of non-real areas, if that makes sense. Don't forget the 90 90%, 90%, 90% rule. Uh, I know that rule. I don't really think it's true. Or at least it's not in personal experience. Unless I'm in it right now. But then it just it just kind of means that I've planned it better, I guess. Maybe it's because you aren't at 90% yet. Well, I have been at 90% before. I've made many games in the past. None as big as this one, but I have. And it wasn't that bad. I shall question the rule, I shall. The luxury of indie dev, releasing the game when it's ready, not at some arbitrary launch date set by marketing. That is true, very true. It's up there with the rule 34 of internet and the first rule of Rocket League. It's up there. What's the first rule of Rocket League? Also, does that mean there's pornog of me on the internet? I dread to think. Speaking of which, I should probably delete some fast from my SSD. Got them on your SSD for fast access, huh? Picture of cars stripped for parts and dirty. Being able to get food is nice though, <clears throat> whenever budget gets to the end line, <laughs> that is true. Solution is uh, get a patron, like a lovely supportive wife, for instance. Questioning my fast accessibility files, I'm questioning which files you're prioritizing for fast access, yeah. Or get a lovely supportive FB. That also helps. That is true. Hey, Molly. Army of supportive FMEs, that would be even better. The only thing better than one FME is multiple FMEs.
So I'm definitely the only one and not secretly multiple people in the same account across Twitch. I used to run a browser-based game ages ago, like over 10 years ago. Um, there was a guy there who was like, he was a really nice guy and spoke to him lots. Uh, but he had a lot of mental issues, um, like really severe ones. And he, at some point, was pretty convinced that I was running every single account on the game. That so basically he was the only real player and I was just simulating all these other people that he would talk to. He knew it was a delusion, but, you know, he just still felt it anyway. Share that with me. Pretty funny. Not, not funny. You know what I mean. Stop looking at me. Virtual Truman Show, right? Probably easier to pull off. The worm, the bloomer. Metal purple. And black wizard. Maggot for sure. Get them, maggots. Quite like the maggots. Such a shitey little enemy, but they can overwhelm you. Like you feel, you feel humiliated when you get bitten by a maggot. Now that I think about it, games are a virtual Truman Show for your character. That is true. That is true, man. Just go through these and see where I have added stuff and where I haven't. So I know we're fine on all these. Well, maybe not that one. like that, I think it might be. So this one does have enemies. Okay, so just basically forest one. Then. enemies alone. Are you gonna get the pacifist achievement? planning on adding achievements by the way? I think so, yeah. Um, hopefully i find a way to make them kind of interesting. I don't want to just do kind of, you completed half the game, here's an achievement. So I need to think about how, how to do that well.
There's my boomer. There's my boomer. friends do achievement hunting just simply adding achievements brings a lot of hardcore audience to your game if you do the achievements in a right way yeah well I, that's kind of mostly the reason I want to do it I think I don't know to what extent it's like naturally suited to it I guess there are you know what it is actually suited to it because there's many ways to uh, complete some of the important quests uh, so it would kind of encourage replayability which is something I want to do so if you find if you could figure out a way to revive the sister um, using the bone collector for instance then maybe the fact that there's an achievement to do it through the witch for instance would be a good thing Encourage replayability, hard challenges, nothing too grindy. Yeah, I don't want to do like killed 10,000 enemies. Like, that's stupid. I don't like it. you are definitely a bot killed one million enemies yeah or someone that needs help something like walk 10 kilometers would be fun kind of fun not too grindy automatically collect itself and people just play yeah but it's not really an achievement is it it's just you played for x amount of time you know Those small silly achievements in front. I guess. I, as long as it's not over the top. I, I do agree with you. But like, if they're all like that, it's kind of shitty. Maybe some basic ones like complete the story, complete it this in this way, or some challenges like kill this enemy this way, etc. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, well, that's roughly what I'm planning on doing. Okay. F me. So, it shouldn't be too hard to implement, I don't think. 
I know there's like a, an extension to default that kind of implements Steam for you, so hopefully it's not too difficult to use. That would be nice. Killed an enemy while very low enough, that's a good idea. So when are you going to make porn games? This is, this isn't sexy enough for you? I'm offended. Stream is one important game. Thanks. I mean, it's fairly sexy, but I mean, we need more. It's not currently in the pipeline, let me tell you that. You watch yourself, F me. You watch yourself. Just make a chess clone and then claim to have misunderstood the question. I like that. You can't stop. I can, F me. I don't want to, but I can. I do have that power. Exactly. Stop twittering on Instabook. Can't believe you've done this. Pretty perfect. <laughs> Good job, Bethany. Why would one wash their eyes when venturing to IRL? Shouldn't it be the other way around, wash your eyes from the IRL? No, you wash your eyes after venturing into IRL.
We swear that's what happens when one has the attention span of an Alex. That is offensive. And because of that, I'm gonna stop streaming. <laughs> so no chance you're gonna make Honey Pop 2. No, and also I'm not going to look up what number one was. <clears throat> oh no, don't stop, I need them too. Well, it's not because you offended me, but I do need to stop, unfortunately. So... Time to do the goodbyes. Um, how long have you been streaming? Um, I have been streaming for two hours, ten minutes. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna stream again tomorrow, I think. I've got a meeting during the day. So um, we'll see how that goes and when that happens, I'm not sure. It's basically Candy Crush, but now there's naked ladies, I see. Uh, art stuff, see you later. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Probably streaming again tomorrow, but can't guarantee it. Um, drop me a follow on here and on all the social media platforms that we got. Try to catch the stream, can't get rid of me. I don't want to get rid of you, F me. See you later, Molly. Hope you have a good one. Uh, we're gonna raid Tobor Prime. He's working on Savage and it looks badass. So we'll see how he's getting on. So thank you for watching everybody and have an excellent day.